Welcome back to Scotty's Tech Dot Info. I am Scotty, my co-host Cletus. The topic for today is Roly extension cords. So the deal with these is that they're extremely handy. This one is obviously a very large Brennenstuhl, yeah. Um, this has got European plugs on it. 50 meters long, that's big. It's also very heavy. Um, these tend to fail, and the reason they tend to fail is because uh, people use them incorrectly. So, what's the deal? Right, so... This is your plugs. Again, these are actually, uh, I believe those are sort of German-style plugs, but they work with French plugs, and kind of European-style, 230 volts. And you have this little guy over here, which is a thermal shutoff. Okay, so the deal is that this thermal shutoff is going to save you when you notice here you have a little symbol. And if I can straighten that a little bit and get this out of the way, there we go. Right, that's good enough. Rolled up, the maximum power is 1000 watts at 230 volts. Extended, the maximum power is 3300 watts at 230 volts. At 230 volts, obviously, 1,000 watts is about 4 amps, and 3,300 watts is about uh, 8.5, uh, hang on a minute, uh, 14 amps, roughly. Right. So, as I said, on the front of this guy, there is a thermal breaker. What this is telling you is that unless you unroll the extension cord fully, you can only pull 1,000 watts. You can only power 1,000 watts worth of stuff, which means you can only pull 4 amps over the cable. If you unroll it fully, you can plug in 3,300 watts of stuff, which means you can pull something like 14 and a half amps, right? <clears throat> so if we flip this back over here, we notice that this little dude is a circuit breaker. What he actually is is a thermal breaker. Now, why do you want to unroll the cord fully no matter what you plug in? because this guy is going to trip when you pull the maximum amount of current allowed for this thing, which is 3300 watts, which is about 14 and a half amps. So this protection, if you leave the cord rolled up or you pull off like say, it's a 50 meter cord, you pull off 10 meters and you plug something in. This little thermal protection here is not going to protect against that. And what's going to happen is because your cable is all coiled up, like this. Inside your cable you have three conductors. They have insulation on them and then there's this blue sheath over it. If it's left coiled up, when you start pulling lots of current over it, uh, actually when you start pulling not very much current over it, in this case they tell you don't use more than a thousand watts or four amps if it's coiled up. If you pull anything more than four amps, this guy starts to heat and the problem is that this blue cable is wound around very tightly. So that current has to go through the entire cable all the way down to the center, and the center is going to start heating up. But the heat has nowhere to go, so basically your entire roll of cable is going to start heating up, and then you're going to get a failure. Right. So, what that means is, bottom line, whenever you use a rolly extension cord, always unroll it fully. Period. Um, Sometimes people say, oh, well, but I'm only using a 700-watt angle grinder, so I only pulled off like 10 meters, I left the other 40 meters coiled up, and that's okay. Well, yeah, it is actually okay, because you're only pulling, you're only using 700 watts, which means you're pulling just like, whatever, 3 amps or whatever, or 230 volts. That sounds good. But what happens when you've got your little angle grinder plugged in here, you've only got 10, on, 10 of the 50 meters is extended, and then somebody else comes along, with a 2000 watt angle grinder and they plug it in here and you're gone because you went to get like a coffee or something somebody plugs a 2000 watt angle grinder in here they don't know about unwinding rolly cables like this and they end up basically destroying your rolly cable so always unroll it fully that's the number one way to make sure that it doesn't get damaged because again this guy is not going to protect you he will a couple times in my experience these things die and the way that they die is these thermal shutoff switches fail. 
they don't just turn off, they actually fail. And the reason they fail is because people don't pull all the cord off. This whole, all the cable heats up. The core of this, these outlets and this breaker, also gets, gets hot. And of course, when it gets hot enough, this guy's going to trip, right? But what tends to happen is when the extension cord is used, not fully unrolled, a few times, this guy heats up, and instead of actually tripping, he basically just kind of melts. He just fails. Um, sometimes, in the case of this Brennstuhl, you can actually buy the center module here, the three or four outlets and the breaker. There's the screws here. You can just take this guy out and put a new one in. Uh, it's less expensive than, than the whole reel. This whole reel was about 80 euros. It's a pretty fancy one. Um, these guys are maybe 15, 20 euros, so it's cheaper. But you can fix them that way. But anyway, you don't have to fix it if you simply unroll your cord the full length, no matter when you use it, no matter what you're plugging in, and then you're safe. Because if you don't, not only is this guy going to fail, uh, but it could actually catch on fire. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Unroll your rolly extension cords all the way, all the time, and then you won't burn anything down. <laughs> For more techie tips, see Scotty's text at for more techie tips, see my website. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.